hello guys welcome back to my channel the math olympia class today we shall con consider several questions and after that there will be exercise for us to work on stay tuned so we have 27 raised to power x multiplied by 1 over x so 27 raised to power x raised to power 1 over x again equals 1 over x raised to power 1 over x so the first thing we do here is to multi multiply the x or divide the x by x that is x cancel x that's at our left side that's on 27 the x there cancel the x so what we have left is 27 equals 1 over x raised to power x raised to power 1 over x rather 27 equals 1 over x raised to power 1 over x Twenty-seven. If we break it down to in index form, we have three raised to power three. Three raised to power three equals twenty-seven. So then equals one over x raised to power one over x. So since we have the three and the three raised to power three at the left side and one over x raised to power one over x at the right side, we can just say the base equals the base. So three equals one over x. So if we cross multiply, we have 3 multiplying x and 1 multiplying 1 that is because 3 is 3 over 1 so 3 times x equals 1 times 1 that's 3x equals 1 So since we have 3x equals 1, we can to get the value of x, we divide both sides by the 3, the coefficient of x. That will be 3x over 3 equals 1 over 3. Then 3 cancels out 3. Then we have x equals 1 over 3. Question number two, we have x raised to power x raised to power two equals 16. So what we just do here is to break down 16 as well. So we have x raised to power x raised to power two equals two raised to power two raised to power two. Two raised to power two raised to power two will give us 16. Then since they have the same power two, then we can just equate the base x equals two. And now we have question number three, and that which says eight two raised to power eight equals n raised to power n. We break down eight to two times four, so we have two raised to power two raised to power four equals n raised to power n. Then two raised to power two is four, so we have four raised to power four equals n raised to power n. So since we have the same base, the same we have the same 4 over 4 raised to power 4 at the left side and n raised to power n on the right side. We can just equate the base. So n equals 4. Uh, we have question number 4 here. So for x in x in 6 raised to power x plus 36 equals x raised to power x. So if we use the rule of indices, we split the 6, 6 raised to power x plus 36. We have 6 raised to power x multiplied by 6 raised to power 36. Because the multiplication is the one that changes to plus when you use the rule of indices. So we have 6 raised to power x multiplied by 6 raised to power 36. The dot there means multiplication. Then equals x raised to power x. So if we divide both sides by 6 raised to power x, 
we have 6 raised to power x, we cancel 6 raised to power x, we have 6 raised to power 36 equals x raised to power x over 6 raised to power x. So we have 6 raised to power 36 equals x raised to power 6, x over 6 rather, then raised to power x. Now, we will divide both power by 6. So it will become 6 raised to power 36 over 6 equals x over 6, then raised to power x over 6. Then 36 divided by 6 will give us 6. So we have 6 raised to power 6 equals x over 6. 6 raised to power x over 6. So we can just equate 6 equals x over 6. Then if you cross multiply, we have x equals 6 times 6, x equals 36. So we have some of the cells here x raised to power square root of x equals 1 over x raised to power 2. That's question number 1. Question number 2 square root of 1 over 2 raised to power x equals 2. Question number 3 3 raised to power x minus 7 plus 3 raised to power x minus 9 equals 90. So we shall discuss all this together in our next class. Thank you. Don't forget to click the subscription notification and share the video with your friends and then uh, we will meet the next class.